guys welcome back to my channel I'm gonna show you guys how I got this low sleek faux bun on my short thick natural hair and it is very easy to do it may seem tedious sometimes but it's very easy simple products and it just takes a lot of time clearing out your hair and making sure it is smooth so what we're gonna do is start by just spritzing our hair with water at the beginning I used to soak my hair fully however it made it a bit too slippery for me to get it in a ponytail nice and sleek so I just spritz it with a little bit of water so that I can detangle and that's it use a little bit of leave-in conditioner on each section then you go ahead and finger detangle with your Denman brush or with your Denman brush and your fingers of course once that is completed, you can add your favorite gel. I prefer the Eco Styler Argan Oil one because it has more hold. But if I'm doing a wash and go or something, I'll use the black castor oil and flaxseed. However, for hold, the Argan Oil one is much more better. So continue finger detangling or detangling with your Denman brush. And it is so it is very important to make sure your hair is fully detangled when doing this so that it can be so that it can come out really really flat and really really smooth so once you've already added that and you brush it you're gonna put that section into a ponytail that will help to keep it in place for the rest of your ponytail so depending on the density of your hair you may need to take smaller sections or larger sections and it might just be easier if your hair is more fine. So you're going to pack on the gel even in between like thick parts you'll have to put gel in between it so that it'll lay smoother and your curls can pop once you put it in that ponytail. So take your smoothing brush or your hard bristle, bristle brush and put that, take the elastic out or the scrunchie out from the back and take that section with the same scrunchie and put it in one at the back and it'll help to keep your hair smooth throughout the process. Then I did a deep side part and don't mind my struggle edges struggle okay but I think they're getting there over time it's getting there that's braids and perm that damaged my edges but they're getting better trust and believe but they can be laid once this ponytail is done trust me anyway go ahead and add your gel or before that you're leaving conditioner your gel and earlier that morning I had washed my hair and applied a lot of oil so I didn't add oil to this ponytail because too much slip causes me not to get it in one properly because there's already a lot of gel as you can see so you're gonna ensure that that is cleared out and smooth use your hard bristle brush this truck passing oh my god and make sure it is smooth you're gonna brush that section and you're gonna use another band do not take out the back section just use an additional band to get that in one so basically you're gonna use like from half of your head one set of one scrunchie and then the top of your head is gonna be a totally different scrunchie I think I use a total of three I use as much as I need it to help me to get the whole entire thing in one low faux bun so I'm going to speed it up and you're just going to see exactly what I'm doing throughout the entire video. It's the same process from the beginning, of course. So I'm not going to repeat myself again. But yeah, like I said, it's just making sure that your hair is smooth and detangled and that gel will make your curls pop. I did use I did put a ponytail in my hair last December 
and I was able to get it in one at the time, but I decided not to pull on my hair and just wear it in its natural state and afro and maybe washing goes since then because I really didn't want to put any tension on my hair. And I've seen a major difference and it is much easier to get in a low faux bun since December, much big, a bigger difference. So I love it and I love how it turned out. I may be looking a little ratchet here, but as you can see, my makeup is popping. A video will be out on the makeup look that I have in this video. So you can see how I did my face in that video and how I beat it, okay? It is a lot of work though, trying to get your hair in one, especially if you're a 4C girl and trying to get it really, really smooth. But pr I promise you, I fell in love with it. I loved how it came out. And if you need to use these tips, trust me, this is the easiest way to get your hair in one. You can't do it by putting all of your hair in one, one time. Cause it's gonna be lumpy, clumpy, and it's gonna be puffing out all the time. Especially if your hair is short. So you can just watch how I got this section done and how I smooth it for the rest of the video. And to seal all of this on my hair so that I don't have any flyaways, I use a little bit of the little bit of the got to be glue and I just smooth that on top. Use my favorite hair tie, which is a drag simple. Tie it down for a few hours. And of course my hair was still wet. I beat my face and a video is gonna be out on this makeup look. Hopefully by the time as this video is done, the other video, one, once you're done watching this video, hopefully the other video will be up. And I take some, took some old um, Jana collection Afro kinky hair that was in braids and I cleared it out a bit and I used it as my ponytail or my, for my faux bun at the back. And it was very simple, very easy, no specific way how to do it. Just wrap it around the little ponytail that you have and pin it to your liking or how you'd like it to look. You can use less hair for a smaller bun or do it tighter for a smaller bun and more hair for a larger bun or looser. I'm taking some long hair pins and I'm going to pin that in place. And basically that's all I do and it's very simple and easy it may give your arms a lot of pain because it's a lot of brushing and trying to and having your arms up a long time but that's fine you get used to it over time and you just want to look cute so beauty is a little bit of pain and that's it so thanks for watching guys make sure you subscribe to my channel Follow me on social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Athea Ebony, and stay tuned for a look, the makeup look.